Okay. So we done this. Now let's do uh Ito's beetle fighting. Here we go. Is there a story to this? I don't know. Let me see if there's a story to this. Oh, there is. Uh oh, hold on. There is. Hold on. Uh oh. Huh? Look over there by the hot pot stand. We know them. Yeah, there is a story to this. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I need to restart. I need to restart. I need the music. I need the music. <laughs> Cause it's awkward without the music. Give me a second. Oh no, is it gonna stay? Oh fuck, it is. All right, whatever then. Huh? Look over there by the hot pot stand. We know them. No oh, Genshin. There we go. I guess there's no music for this. Huh? Here, I'll play. I'll play music. The vlog frogs won't hear this, but they'll hear this. The streamer, the ones on the stream, will hear this though. Traveler Paimon, you're here too. Hi, Yanfei. Yanfei hey, mentioned. Shabu. Here for some hot pot, huh? What's the occasion? Has one Min Hill restaurant gone? Has one Min restaurant gone downhill or something? Is was not, was Xianling's cooking too hot to handle? No, it's nothing like that. Wanmin restaurants just closed for a couple of days, but it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Su Arnyang's hot pot is pretty good, and you can't get it at Wanmin restaurant. Wanmin's closed? Why? What happened? Well, it was partly our fault. Oh. Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get together. Yenfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. And she booked Wanmin Restaurant. Uh -huh. The turnout was a lot higher than expected. And in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant's stock for the week ahead. Damn! They hungry as hell! appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Oh, that makes sense. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Mmm, Ito. Bullchucker's here too? <laughs> oh, Bullchucker. I'm surprised we haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Bullchucker is probably the, the funniest name Paimon has come up with in a long time. I think she pig. I think Paimon's funny nicknames. I think Paimon's funny nicknames peaked at Bullchucker. Yeah. When he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. Mm. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life, Damn. I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Liyue. Do you think if I asked him two plus two, his brain would fry? That other kid you guys brought with you, though, what was his name again? Oh, yeah, Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. You probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time, but he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some uh, Liyue cooking skills. Thank you, Pork Champion Ripto, for the ride. Thank you. Hope you had a very nice stream. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his own Ikabuto and make them stronger. Grandmaster Hanakado? Uh, where do we know that name from? Oh, yeah! Didn't we meet him during that beetle battle thing that Bullchucker organized that one time? Yeah, we did. The almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl. That's right. Good memory, Paimon. <laughs> After the near catastrophe that was the beetle brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki gang. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Onikabuto rearing strategies. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of beetle brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. Mm. It's made things a lot easier for me. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen. Partly to thank him for the epic feast <laughs> and partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their onikabuto's performance oh no i think they're out looking for crabs at guyun stone forest right now with miss shangling and mr globa they're gonna accidentally feed it something super spicy and then kill the beetle they all seem to get along great 
Guoba's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ito calls it. <laughs> and, uh, something something Beetle King, or whatever Hanakados is called. Oh, that is right. I wonder if... I do wonder if Guoba can actually talk to the animals. They've been out for quite a while, though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Well, now Paimon wants to join in the fun. Crabs from Glee and Stone Forest? Mmm, Paimon bets they taste great! <laughs> Hello, Hyper Bloom, Carrie. Why don't we go Thank see you. if they need our help? The sooner one mean restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again! And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. Well, if we're serious about eating at one mean restaurant, gathering ingredients will go faster with more hands. So you two are gonna head over? I think that's a great idea. The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. You make a good point. Mm. Well, thanks for checking up on them, you two. It's funny how, how Ito will probably... Ito rarely ever listens to, to Shinobu, but he will always listen to the Traveler for some reason. <sighs> uh, I'm suddenly feeling a bit warm. Maybe I've been eating too much spicy food lately. Oh no, you poor thing. It could be a fever, or maybe the humidity is making you overheat. Wait here, I'll go get you some iced tea. Aw, iced tea. You wonder if Yanfei's voice actor will use her Pomni from Digital Circus voice for Sparkle? Wait, she go she uh, does the Digital Circus? Or she voice acts on the Digital Circus? She's Pomni. Hmm. I only heard about the Digital Circus through Twitter, but then I also heard that uh, the Digital Circus also has some controversy in it. So, uh, um, her and Diluc's voice actor, um, uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn on the music again. Damn it. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Ah, I see it now. A hard shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea. Throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. Best character, funniest character in Genshin is back again. Peak. That's right, Oni King. Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of the perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Peak has arrived. And it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before. No rest until they've flipped every crab in the area onto its back. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. It's so funny that Xiang Li got involved in this. La, 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 la. <laughs> Guoba. Looks Guoba's like so Xiang cute. Ling and Guoba are part of the gang now. <laughs> Time for On Onikabuto versus Crab. Uh-huh. Traveler Paimon! Fancy meeting you here! Are you guys out for a walk or something? Hey Xiang Ling! Hey Guoba! Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were closed for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Aw, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. I wonder how often we go back to Liwei just to like go eat at one mean restaurant or visit Zhongli. It's... Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I may have spoken too soon.
soon. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> what? The break dancer's back. Stay calm. I'll assess the situation. <laughs> He's so funny. Hard shell, check. Legs, not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your own Kabuto against. Uh, <clears throat> this dude. How right you are, Oni King. With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Are they serious right now? This dude. <laughs> I think I recognize that thing. It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. <laughs> Why Tornado? It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. Oh no. We gotta teach it a lesson. Come to learn that. Uh, you already know why. Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. <laughs> I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Go, Ironclad Beetle King. Test your challenger to its limits. I really can't tell if Ito is a good or a bad influence on other people. <laughs> Get him. Oh, no. Iron King. Not Ironclad! No! I don't believe it! That, 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 that's not possible! No! Okay. Listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. And if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat! Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Uh -huh. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Uh... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what is bro doing? Nah. Belly. Nah. Oni King. Shall I send in some more Onikabuto, or...? <laughs> uh, I, I will... You, um... What? <laughs> Wait, what's Goba doing? No! Bro is flabbergasted. Go, Goba, go! Le, 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 le. Eh. Like, finally, a worthy challenger. Wait, the bishop can understand Goba? Just up and left. It's because Goba is a mighty force not to be reckoned with. You see how much damage Goba does when it does vape? Nah, that thing don't want to mess with him. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon, I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Guyon Stone Forest. Tornado gave Goba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious, and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. Oh. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. <laughs> Goba just stood there. He was... <laughs> Goba just stood there and tanked that like a like a champ. Holy Chad. Man, what Giga a cool Chad. guy. I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but... Uh, I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. <laughs> There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. Goba Sigma. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Goba Sun simply commanded that hard shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Sigma Goba over hmm. here. Goba-san clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. Ah, <gasps> that's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Goba-san is a virtuoso <laughs> beetle battler. <laughs> With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. I still can't tell if he's a good or a bad influence on children. I really can't tell if Ito is a good or bad influence at this point. <laughs> huh? Of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. 
See, if we can get Guobasan to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster! <gasps> uh -oh. Can we stop uh -oh. discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right! Get a move on, Bulk Checker! Shinobu's waiting for you! Also, we want to eat. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. When did we get two new people? Oh, compadre! <laughs> he didn't even notice us this entire <laughs> time. Tony King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. You almost called her the wrong name again. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. <laughs> he said nothing we haven't seen before. Damn! Wow, Traveler. Did I say it? I'm gonna say it. Oh, come on! There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Only Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No. Probably. Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Yeah. Of course not. Yeah, definitely. You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Okay, uh, yeah, but he's a traveler. This, this is the traveler we're talking about. We don't know a single thing about this guy. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Wow. How influential. Wise words from Ito. <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, what's gotten into <laughs> Life. <laughs> actually said something that made sense. For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's belly. You hear that? Boba's getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Onikabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Guoba-san. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> He's so cute. I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. I say we set up a ring here and now. Here? I summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Guoba-san. Oh god, here we go. Bye-bye, Alice Mitch. Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Paimon's got a... Well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, I'm with you, Grandmaster. Oh, God. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. I didn't think, he didn't even think of this either. This is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Hey, hey, we weren't done talking to you yet. Ugh, unbelievable, look at them, not a care in the world. <laughs> All right, more beetle fighting, woo! What did they say Woo! it was called again? The Arataki something something? Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakato might have mentioned it before. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. But right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back. Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates' reunion, right? Come to the air run. Won't throw 
doing an impromptu beetle fighting competition interfere with their plans? <sighs> well, not much we can do about it except head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. God damn it. Bro, Ito is so goofy. You know, if they do come out, when they do come out with the Genshin anime, I kind of hope that Ito could be in it. Because he would actually be the perfect comedic relief character. He would actually be the perfect comedic relief character for a Genshin anime. Like, it's almost criminal not in to not include him in there. Uh, Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon. Uh, wait, where are the other two? Uh, about that. <sighs> uh, Let me guess. Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics? We'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Mistflower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking, then we can catch up while we eat. They cook it. It's kind of hard to tell, though. We're not sure if they're just going to focus on Monsite or not. That's true. I mean, we're not even sure if they're going to focus on, like, the the Traveler's story. Because they did say that... They they did... I don't know. I think there were some leaks saying that uh, they don't know if they're going to focus on, like, the present story. Or if they're going to focus on, like, a pre-Traveler story. But I'm not sure. We all find Shinobu are hungry too. The feasting begins. As you dine, you tell Shinobu you're not afraid about Ito and Hanakano's run in with the crystal tornado and the plan to hold a beetle fighting boot camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? <sighs> that doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue Law, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. Yeah, and you can you come see Goba every single time. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I need a Goba. I need like an actual Goba like plushie. I, I need one. Except, except the one that they have officially does not look like Goba. Why does the Goba plushie look like that? Wait. Let me show y'all. Goba plushie. Which one is it? Oh yeah, it's this one. It's this official one. What is this? You can see all the other ones on the side too. Wait, hold on. Let me show you. Let me show y'all. I think some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at this. What is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that over there? That's not Goba? <laughs> what? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> that's not Goba, that's Boba. What? Beady ass eyes. <laughs> Wait, first the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. True. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. All right. I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later, and bring the permit with me. <laughs> is that Xiangling's keychain? Maybe is in a Maybe. good mood today. It does kind of look like it. She didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. 
Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. No problem. Uh, We're good. You mean you don't need us to come with you? Well, if Ito's serious about defeating that Geoviship hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kind of curious to see how everything goes down. Well, I'll help you deal with the, with Boss. We want to join the competition, too. Now that you mention it, didn't you help Boss out a lot at the last one of these? The almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl? Yeah, we always do. Oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. <laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure, or, uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead. It, huh? Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. Surely. Oba. We've already beaten our expected turnover for this month, and it'll still be a while before Dad gets back with the rest of the new stock. So we should be able to take it easy for a while. After that, we should be back to business as usual. Things won't be anywhere near as busy as they've been the last few days. That means we should have time to go and watch Mr. Ito's beetle fighting event. Mm hmm? You. Alright. I'm gonna go back to Guyun Stone Forest. You know what, though? Some of the other, like, non official Goba plushies look All cute, right, though. Boss. Fun time in Liyue is over. Like, I'm looking Let's at them. Home. Like, I'm looking at them and they look kinda. They look kinda cute. Hold on. Uh... Like, this one's cute. Actually, is this the official one? I think this is actually official. But this one looks a lot cuter. This one looks super cute. It reminds me of Squid Game, though. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Squid Game, for some reason, because of the jacket. <laughs> Squid Game Goba. <laughs> I don't know if they have that one on sale, though. Shinobu! I, I can explain! No, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Yenfei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities, otherwise you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now, before things get out of control. Uh-oh. But, but... You don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki Gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. Mm. Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you. <laughs> I'm not even a serious player. Uh oh. Why are you so bothered about losing to some Bishop Hatchling? Shinobu! That was a low blow. <laughs> anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? <laughs> and try me. Bro was genuinely hurt by that. Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Grandmaster Hanakato, get me and boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. If I oh, win, boy. you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei Senpai. Uh, Shinobu, Oni King. Uh oh, I, I just you're really doing this, huh? I uh didn't think you'd take it this far. She actually is like a mother to to Ito, or like a like a motherly figure to Ito. She she keeps him in check for sure. Okay. Uh. It's so funny. So. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. I delegate this challenge to you. Of course. You're making Paimon fight me. <laughs> no surprises there. Predictable. Uh, what Bull Checker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through sky cleaving white iron lavender melon first. You're both bad influences on each other. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon is one of the Arataki gang's top beetle fighters, but even she isn't in the same league as moi. 
So Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you got to beat the Milan. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. God damn it. Except <sighs> Paimon refuses. What? Even Paimon knows that you can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. So if you're out of Mora, then tough luck. You got to watch your spending. <laughs> He's so funny. If Paimon helps you out, then just make more trouble for Yanfei, and then Shinobu will owe her a favor. Dang, even Paimon has, even Paimon's being logical now. Uh-oh, it's up for, it's over for Ito. Okay, true, you make a fair point, but it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. If we really are out of funds, then, uh, I'll find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day, and pay any expenses out of my own pocket. Ito with a job? The world's ending. I think this might be the last year we go, guys. This might be the last year for us. I think we're dead. We're we're actually we're actually going to die after this year. It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. Now you're talking. See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. This is like the equivalent of like that one episode in the Amazing World of Gumball where fucking <laughs> where fucking Richard Waterson gets a job and the world literally starts to collapse. <laughs> There's no way this is gonna go well. You're the top dog. When you're the top dog, you watch the bottom line. Don't rely on someone else when you can do it yourself. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. But you still need to beat me first. I know what boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not gonna make this easy for you. You know, those odd jobs is actually normal. But like an actual like nine to five, there's no way. All right, I remember how to do this. Hold D to command the the Omi Kabuto to begin charging. Boom. They introduced a Q feature. Yeah, this is the guard. Sick. Dang, Paimon won. I lost. I can't believe it. Paimon got it like yes. that. That was so tense. Shinobu nearly got the better of Paimon there. What a dazzling duel. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt. Oh! <laughs> You really are natural at this, aren't you? As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Paimon, Camp. Paimon's gotten better. What the hell? What? <laughs> I bet you this is going to turn into Tekken. <laughs> it's going to get more complex. And then the game is just literally Tekken. <sighs> I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. <sighs> I'll have to move to plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum and make sure Yenfei Senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops or you'll run out of time, okay? Don't want you getting carried away. Mm. Got it. Sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. Sure. Okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. Okay, so we've only got five battles to get it's in over. shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. Mm. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> Don't worry, Oni King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. Someone get this guy like a college class for, I don't know, like business. Someone, someone, someone give him like a business class or something. I bet he'd be great. We haven't been in Liyue for long, 
but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Actually, wait, no. He first has to do his timetables. First, he has to learn his timetables. And then put him into a business class. Now, as for the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon... <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. <laughs> Surely the Arataki gang gives credit where credit is due. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving wide iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Because in a few short days, I, the bona fide Beetle Battle King, will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Guobasan, and become a living legend! Booyah! <laughs> it's... Oh, yeah, we'll be watching. So, uh, no pressure or anything? Why is her, why is her voice a reverb? <laughs> Did she actually press a reverb button? What the hell? If you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, We'll see the whole thing. Why did her voice gain some reverb? What the hell? Tap the four button to instruct the Oni Kabuto to expend a small to expend a small amount of stamina to move half a tile and get closer to the opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold the four button to instruct the Oni Kabuto to charge his enemy. It's energy. When the charging process ends, the Oni Kabuto will expend a greater amount of stamina to rush forward. When the rush hits an opponent, it can deal damage. The stamina consumed, the distance traveled, da 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 da. I get all of this. I remember all of this. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you can. I forgot. You can. Uh, you can uh, parry this. All right. Number one. Listen to the next breakdown. Hello, all. I am Iron Tongue Tien here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. <laughs> Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bullchucker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Oh. oh, sweet! Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but uh. check out that design! And that line work! It's so cool! <laughs> it's epic! It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle! Dude! Wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe... Esquire? <laughs> Esquire? <laughs> um, sure. Ah, that's the one. Tien Esquire, your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also... I'm no artist, just a storyteller. Don Arataki, oh my god. Does Paima voice, Paima's voice get higher every update? Yes. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yenfei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yenfei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. Well, I mean, she did need to get you the permit, so... Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. <laughs> Who knows? It might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. That name. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude, ah, that'd be awesome. 
All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, Squire. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, may, may the best man win. <laughs> squirt, Squat, and Squire. What's up, Squirt? All right. I'm doing the focused fight. Screw level one. All right. Oh. Boom! There we go. Not gonna hit me. Boop. Boop. Boom! Boy, this shit kinda... Oh, I'm kinda rocking them real quick. Oh, shit. Easy clap. That shit was... That shit was no problem. Oh, wonderful. Hmm. I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here to be told time and again. You still you still haven't played this? Y'all gotta play these events. If I'm doing them before you guys are doing it, there's a problem. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. <sighs> The pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. <laughs> <laughs> details, schmeat tales. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before <laughs> my mind's buzzing from all those fancy words what's that buzzy feeling called again oh yeah learning <laughs> bro meets someone who reads once and then feels like a scholar looks like the arataki blazing armor beetle battle boot camp is getting off to a good start the biggest himbo <laughs> Meet someone educated once. All of a sudden wants to go to college. Oh shit. It's starting it's starting off quick. Nope. Boom. Got him. Oh shit. Oh, they got me. No, I almost did this damage list. Ooh. There we go. I almost did that flawless. Dang. Music or is it over? Uh, I could, I don't know if there, I'm pretty sure there's still voice. So I don't want to, I don't want to like, uh, turn on the music if there's still more, uh, voices. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Onikabuto are our friends. Like cats and doggies. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Although, uh... Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience. Her chosen Onikabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <coughs> My Onikabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Ho oh, ho! Your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Who is your dad? Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. Huh! You make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side! <laughs> well, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun. Oh, boy. I hope she doesn't cry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't make her cry, Paimon. You read a story from each character when you talk to them? It's not voiced, though. I see. Come here. Ooh. Ooh. Got him. 
Oh shit. Oh, I missed. Got him. Ow, fuck. Not flawless. Got him. Paimon nearly messed that up. True. Uh, oh, I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. I, I only took damage once. How'd you get so Relax. freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So, this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I, I get it now! Uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too! Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this! Oh, kinda terrifying. Buttercup of Terror. Hey, Bull Checker! If you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Guoba talk to Crystal Tornado. Bull Chucker. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> it's... Bull Chucker. Wait, what stories do they have? Tell me about the way of the beetle battler. Great question, and I could go on for quite some time about this. Leeway has its own type of contest between insects and, like... Only capital battles each has its own unique features. There are contests of agility as well as competitions to see which which bug can cry the loudest. Each of these battles has its set of own mysteries that, with a few flourishes of a pen, could transform into many a tale I can tell my regulars time and time again. I see. Now let's do the uh, extreme mode. Can I do this one without getting hit? Let me see. Got what? She sent out two? Nah. Wait, that was it. What the fuck? How'd you send out two? Oh, that's why. Bruh. Nah, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here with that. Ugh. I got no stamina. Oh, damn it, bruh. Damn, she almost she actually did kind of get me with uh, having two balls sent out. Could you tell me about your nickname? How yeah, how did you get Buttercup of Terror? You mean Buttercup of Terror? Oh, it came about because Daddy once gave me a buttercup flower, which I put by all my which I put by my windowsills every night. By the next morning, it would have raced up the roof. Someone said that they saw my flower climbing the walls in the dead of night, just like a cat. It was later that we found that there was a cat in the city that had taken liking to my plant, which led to it making off with the plant. I don't know why, but the story spread and it somehow become became the Buttercup Chang Chang Rays turned into a cat. Terrifying. Not that I mind, but when that Grandmaster Avocado person heard about this, they thought that my nickname was really cool and they even asked me to play this game. Well, I'm having loads of fun and I'd love to play more. That's Kyo. Yanfei! Hey there, I'm back. So then, how's the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along? Just wait for the final round. Is it hard? Is it actually hard? Great timing, Yanfei. My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Oh, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh, looking to flip some beetle too? Huh? Something wrong with that? I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit. And among them was a very special Oni Kabuto. Ah. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. Oh. Uh -oh. It's looking pretty uh buff these days. <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh no. I know, uh -oh. You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience, she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Oni Kabuto I have ever seen. You make me an offer I can't refuse. All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. 
I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. Oh my god. <laughs> you betcha. So it's me versus the Traveler? Alright. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet. So, apologies in advance for any blunders. I like her name is Contestant with Super OP Gear. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Wait, hers is so much bigger! What the hell? Oh shit. Okay, so she stomps. Boom! That was a huge hit there. Got him. Oh shit! Oh! Almost got out there in time. There we go. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Yanfei's Oni Kabuto is so strong! What has Madam Peng been feeding that thing? That thing was stomping. <laughs> See? Your savior's Oni Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with. But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Why wise words, Grandmaster? <laughs> oh, okay. Good thing my compadre kept it together. Nah, it was no sweat. Wow, what a blast. I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. Yeah, because you got like something that could literally stomp all the other beetles. <sighs> this is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to stick around and play some more. She got the Adeptus fed beetle, bruh. What the hell? He's noticed the name of the beetle's absolute dominance. Oh my god. <laughs> have you been busy lately, Yanfei? I'm fine, I'm good. I mean, even legal experts don't have business to attend to every day, you know? Which is just as well. Uh, while my fellow disciples are having their reunion, I'm going to be spending my, all my annual leave. I'll eat my fill, sleep my dew, play to my heart's content, and then go back to work refreshed and renewed. Now that's what they call a happy life. Nice. Lon! Oh my god, wait, Lon is here! Oh no, 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 this, this makes no sense! How, how did you do that? My... My reputation is destroyed! <laughs> oh, wh <laughs> what happened? It's like a bean to the heart. Oh no, what happened? It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. Uh-oh. <laughs> what the? So polite. <laughs> so, been busy losing while we were away, Bulljucker? I don't see it that way. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now, he hasn't lost to me yet. In battle and in life, it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while. But a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet. And he's gonna lose again, watch. Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Oh, burn. <laughs> oh, King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. <laughs> I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. I like how Hanakato is like so much smarter. He's like his advisor. It's watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others one learns through observation. Ah, good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. Uh huh. It's your turn! Make it count, Traveler. Piece of cake. So, I'm going head-to-head -head with the legendary Traveler. Guess I better look sharp. Did you ever find the Unseen Razor? Holding the guard bomb will continue to continue stamina to maintain the shield against hostile jet streams. Okay, so they use jet... She uses jet streams. Ow, 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 that, 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 my shield! Ah, fuck. Oh! 
Oh, oh shit. She likes to play at range, I see. Oh shit. And she's just always backing up. Or oh, she's dead here. See ya. Imagine every nation with a beetle battle every year and the events get bigger and bigger. I wanna see a beetle battle a monster. I wonder. Actually, that would be pretty nice because they because they like to play TCG over in Mondstadt. I feel like I feel like Beetle Battles would be a very fun game to have in Mondstadt too. You'd have TCG and Mondstadt. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Is it like 2 a.m. for you? No. You beat me. It's not 2 a.m. for me. It's 11, 12 actually. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the Traveler. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's probably like 2 a.m. in like Eastern time. Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yep, when you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. This is how this is what they talk about with beetle fights, by the way. I think Shinobu said something like that once too. I guess there's something to it after all. You're talking about beetle fights. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting. All right. The utmost might one. Let's see how this one is. It's 3 a.m. there. A, a PSD streamer, how rare. Oh shit, she does three balls. Oh my god. Got to regenerate. She's gonna play at range. But she also has like a cooldown after she uses the lightning. Ugh. Got her. Here we go. Boom! Oh, damage list! Easy! Nice! You enjoy Beetle Battles too, Alon? I wanna say that I enjoy it. I simply think that there is something to learn from many activities, so I want her to give it a go. We often give we often get a lot of non-combat related requests mixed in with our high difficulty commissions. Solving mechanical puzzles, following clues to search for specific objects. You never know when you might even encounter a commission that requires you to command other creatures to fulfill a certain objective. I'm sure that you, of all people, would have experience with that. No, actually, we haven't had a single commission like that yet, so. <gasps> I go by. Do we get to face Goba now? Hey! Good to see everyone! How's it going? Having fun? Shang Li and Guaba! You finally made it! Well, Bullchuck is certainly having a blast. The day has finally come! We're finally gonna get a face Goba! Woba san! I've been training hard at the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and now I want to show you just how far I've come. Uh, and Crimson Staff, too. <laughs> it's. Upper emo, siangling upper. If my progress satisfies you, then please teach me. Show me the way to communicate with Crimson Staff, Crystal Tornado, and all the shelled organisms of this world. Do that, and I swear, once I become the reigning champion of the beetle fighting world, I will build a mighty statue in your image at the Arataki Gang's beetle fighting headquarters. <sighs> oh, wait, that one's blue. What the? Wobasan got a brand new Oni Kabuto. Wow. That does not look normal. Oh, it appears to be not a typical Oni Kabuto shell, but one built of resilient wood. Is it wearing a suit of armor? We told Granny all about your Oni Kabuto boot camp. It really piqued her interest when she heard that Guobo was getting a disciple. As it turned out, a friend of hers had made a whole bunch of gardening and landscaping machines to look after the silk flowers on the terrace. They're called bloom pruners. The bloom pruner Aww. can transform into the shape of any creature to blend into its environment. Squirrels, butterflies, finches, you name it. 
And of course, Uni Kabuto too. Bro, of course, Guaba would have that in his fucking arsenal, bro. <laughs> So, Master gave Globa a bloom pruner and got it to take the form of an Oni Kabuto so he can battle against you. Bruh. Imagine the Oni Kabuto's using use this Pyronado mid fight. <laughs> That's pretty high tech for a gardening appliance. I try to use. I try to use D Luke. Oni Kabuto does more damage. <laughs> Uh, remind me who that is again? Oh yeah, Madam Ping. Oh yeah, my bad. No machine can compare to a real live Oni Kabuto Burn. warrior. Did Guobasan pick a dumbed down enemy on purpose so we can showcase all our awesome skills? You may be wise to temper your optimism, Oni King. My beetle senses are failing to detect this Oni Kabuto's might. Or perhaps it's too profound for me to fathom. It's not even alive. There's nothing for you to sense. Mm. Uh, anyway, Guobasan may possess limitless power, but a warrior needs to be one with his weapon. The bond between Oni Kabuto and Trainer is forged through blood, sweat, and tears. Not uh, wood, mesh, and gears. True. Fist. Wait, do you guys think Ito would be against, like, AI? I feel like that kind of message would be like... He would hate AI. He would love he would love artists and hate AI just from that message alone. Let's get this duel going. It's time for Guobasan to witness my true potential once and for all. Ito is for the people. Here we go, let's see. Why does Guobas sound different from before? He's just tripping? I don't remember how he sounds like before. He it's so big! Oh, it's aggressive. It's getting aggressive. It's got to back up. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're good still. Oh, I didn't get to parry that one. Oh, shit. There we go. Back up. Boom. Oh shit, what? What is that? Oh, it's fine. It's whatever. We got him. That was easy. That was easy. No damage, that was easy. Whoa, Bull Checker sure made short work of the Bloom Pruner. I won! Victory is mine! With my trusty Crimson Staff, I have defeated the mighty Guobasan! Alrighty then. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. He's so happy. <clears throat> Guobasan, if I have earned your recognition, I humbly ask you to teach me the ways of <laughs> shelled organism communication. <laughs> Look at Guobas's face. <laughs> uh huh? Guobasan, you look pleased but you just lost to me in battle does this mean you're proud of me for my swift progress oh shucks i don't know what to say <laughs> you're too kind guobasan oh you're just being modest i know you were going easy on me it looks like guobas all warmed up now the bloom pruner is ready to operate at full power what guoba remember the plan in this round, we want to increase the Bloom Pruner's power output from a tenth of a percent to one percent, okay? What? Any higher and you'll risk knocking Ito's Oni Kabuto out cold. Huh? Okay, there it is. Paimon knew something was up. Uh-oh. Uh, a, a tenth of a percent? As I feared, we have barely scratched the surface. Wait, hold on a minute. A tenth? Of one percent, as in zero point one percent, as in one one thousandth. <laughs> so he does know his. You gotta be kidding me. He does know math. All that was just one one thousandth of its top power. <laughs> Guoba's a little confused. You did say you wanted to train your Oni Kabuto to defeat Crystal Tornado, correct? Um. I thought it would go without saying, given the size. 
The bloom pruner has to shift rocks the size of casserole dishes. So obviously it has to be pretty strong. Um. Even then, Crystal Tornado is bigger still. It dwarfs me and Guoba, and it's even taller than you. <laughs> it's impossible. If we were talking, oh, twice as strong as the last fight, I think I'd have a shot. Ten times as strong, and we're already looking at losing most, if not all, of the time. But a thousand times stronger? Who am I kidding? <laughs> he, he At least he knows when to give up. Uh. <laughs> oh, no, Ito. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. <laughs> nah. Of course, Guobasan. This is what you've been trying to tell me all along. Why did they change her voice to like a, a, an old master? I gotta study mechanics. Then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. Or maybe, heck, I could build a bigger, stronger mechanical Onikabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. No, don't turn to the dark side, not the AI. No, he's turning to the side of robots. <gasps> no! An Onikabuto piloting a mechanical Onikabuto? No! How do you expect to pull that off? Does that even still count as a beetle battle? We lost him. There to dream. Seeing the power of Bloom Pruner has made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Onikabuto's strength. People have tried to tell me this before. Shinobu, the Grandmaster, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your tactics one time? That's just plain stupid. Wobasan has shown me a new path. Mechanically modified Onikabuto. With this new technique in my arsenal, size will be no obstacle to me and my valiant beetle warriors as we set out to beat Crystal Tornado once and for all. Lululu? <laughs> Lululu? <laughs> Why is he mad? Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like Woba's not too sure about all that. Mechanics, huh? Hmm. I'd have to get my master to see if her friend would be willing to help. She's the expert. Did you say expert? Please, Gobasan, Chef Sama, my savior, introduce me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thinking of becoming the second Arataki gang member to study in Liyue, are you, boss? Uh, Shinobu, when'd you get back? <laughs> you got the money for that? Time's up. We spent our last mora on these boat tickets, and if we don't get to the harbor pronto, they'll go to waste. But but but, I, I, give me a minute, okay? We're 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 in the middle of an extremely important discussion here. Yeah, I heard. I was actually very pleased to hear the suggestion of you doing some sort of studying coming out of your own mouth. I have some relevant experience, so I can write a little booklet to get you started. Wait, Ito actually becoming a mechanical engineer? Whoa! Wait, next time we see him, he's gonna be even smarter? Damn, Paimon's not gonna like this. But unfortunately, studying in Liyue is very expensive. The Arataki Gang's typical expenditures are a drop in the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? It'll be fine. I'll just, uh, I'll work like a horse when I get back to Inazuma. Mm-hmm. Next beetle vet's gonna be in Fontaine then? Mm, maybe, yeah, true. Or if he wants to get really, really smart, he could go to Sumeru. Hmm. I know what I'm getting into here, all right? I got it all planned out in my head. It's not like I've never gotten paid work before. As soon as I get earning, we'll all have cash for the burning. <laughs> and don't think for one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Arataki gang, neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. You're not a part of this story quest. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough Mora for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Arataki gang is coming to Liyue. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, and come out the other side as the stronger, smarter, invincible Arataki gang. Ito is about to get hit with the harsh reality of tuition fees. <laughs> I just realized he is about to receive the harsh reality of why people don't go to college nowadays. Or why people like struggle even staying in college is because of tuition fees you're saying all of the right things uh, who are you and what have you done with boss wow bull chucker those are some bold words 
You better make sure you follow through. <laughs> He's a man of his word. <laughs> of course, I, uh, I still need to iron out some deeds in terms of what kind of work I can get and how much I can break in per day, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> in that case, Oni King, I'll stay here in Liwe. Firstly, this will enable me to follow up with Chef Sama and discuss our study plans in detail. No, you gotta go home. Don't you got parents? Secondly, now that word of the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp has begun to spread, I'll be able to scout for talented warriors and continue optimizing the Oni Kabuto training diet. Also, if the Oni King's right hand and sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon wish to continue battling or analyze the battle so far, I'll be here to support them. Awesome! Good thinking, Grandmaster! Okay, standard procedure applies. I'll let your grandpops know what you're up to so he won't worry about you. Uh-huh, yeah, surely they wouldn't worry about him. He's, he's in another continent. He's in another country. Nah. Oh, <laughs> man. I am so pumped to see what you'll have for us next time I see you. I do need to make one thing clear, though. I can't promise that we'll be able to talk an Adeptus into taking you on as students. Yenfei and I will do our best, but we'll just have to see how it goes. The great master of whom you speak boasts a skill others can only dream of. Their pride and prestige don't faze us. The important thing is that I, on behalf of the Oni King and the Arataki Gang, can find a way to show them we're serious and sincere in our quest to master the mechanical arts. I do like how this is like a continuing story. Somehow, the literal one-off beetle fighting event became like a continuing story. <laughs> How did that happen? So I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of gift we should offer if we're to be seen as worthy of learning the mysteries behind the manufacturer of the bloom pruner. Somehow we've managed to get like, like Ito character development in an event story quest. Boss. We gotta leave right now, or we're not gonna make it in time. <sighs> All right, I guess this is it. Traveler, Paimon, Yenfei Senpai, Miss Shengling, Guoba, you've all been a huge help to boss with this beetle battle event. I really can't thank you enough. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. I hope you can find some use for it in your future endeavors. Shinobu, you're so thoughtful. Freebies for the win. The time has come. Adios, compadre. See you, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Goodbye, Guobasan and Chef Sama. And farewell, my savior. <laughs> We're gonna see you in like, I don't know, six months. Don't worry. I'll be back real soon. I promise. We'll meet again. La, 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 la. <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep, Bullchucker. It's good to have ambitions, but don't let yourself get carried away in the heat of the moment. Do what Shinobu tells you. Be realistic about what you can achieve, and make sure you pace yourself. But of course, if everything works out, Paimon can't wait to see Crimson Staff driving a ginormous mechanical Onikaba till the next time we meet today. Oh, God. Oh, God. Crystal Tornado! We forgot about someone. Uh-oh. <laughs> No, we forgot about Crystal Tornado. Oops. Alright. Time. Wait, did I not ever... Did I not ever do a... Yonfei's... Oh, I, I never did Yonfei's thing. Oops, my bad. Give me a sec. Before I do Gold Buzz, let me do Yonfei's three star. Oh, she does three of three stomps. What the hell? I'm not stamina for that. Well, that was a good hit. That was accidental, though. Crystal turned out to be like, the heck just happened? He's like, I thought this event was about to be was 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 supposed to be for me. Up into my story. Ow. Cause Crystal Tornado is like, where's my time? I got, I got like three seconds of screen time. All right, now for Gold Buzz. 
How many beetle beetle bottle events did we have before? You just recently came back after a two year break. I think, I think like one or two. I'm not sure how many though. Not exactly sure. Probably one. Oh, let's see this one. All right. Boy. Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh shit. Ow. Ow. I think it really does have armor. You can't knock it around. Huh. Because you gotta be patient with it. Time me cornered though. Uh oh. What the hell? Thanks, so many! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, ooh. I got it. Oh, no, my stamina. Okay, we got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. I just slowly made my way there. Woo, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Fuck. Oh, well, I want to try to do that damage list. I wonder if it's possible. I think it's possible. Oh, I did it. Wait, hold on. I didn't know you could do that. Maybe I'm just not timing it right. Hold on. Yeah, I did. Okay, there we go. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed that again. Damn it. Oh, I missed it again. Damn it. There we go. That's a one. Two. There we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What? That hit me? No way. Wow. How are some of these hitting me though? Okay, wait, I wanna try the I wanna try a damage list though. I wanna try a damage list. Oh I missed. Damn it. Oh, I'm so bad with that. Ah. Nah, I can't hit it. There we go. That's one. There we go. I gotta do this now. Easy. Oh, I did it! Woo! Damageless. W. <laughs> Woo! Easy clap. Lenny, you're not a part of this quest. Uh, give me an Onikabuto. I wonder if I can get an Onikabuto. I want to have like an actual Onikabuto. Yeah, I'm level 50 now. Nice. Let me collect my awards. Rewards. Eepy. Eepy beetle. <laughs> Eepy. Eepy. 
You did the no damage run with 150 milliseconds? Or 150 ping? Yeah, it was a struggle. It didn't seem that bad. It didn't seem that bad. I think it was... It wasn't that bad. Light work for me. A little crimson. Job hunting is hard, especially for a freshly graduate. Most of them only want at least a few years of experience on that field of work. Wish you luck. Good luck. I hear the job market is tough right now, so good luck. Good luck. Hope you do find something soon enough. Job market be rough. Look at my primo gems. I'm so poor. I'm so poor. Am I really gonna have enough for for when uh, chlorine comes? I hope so. Let me check the shop. Is it reset yet? Oh, there's official. There's official constellation. Do I want to get official con? I don't know. I should also do the survey eventually. Alright. So there's that. There's the Arataki Beetle event. Maybe next time we see Ito again, he's gonna be super smart. He's gonna have like a whole degree. He's gonna be wearing glasses. <laughs> he's gonna be using all this like exquisite like vocabulary. 